Hello there, musical YouTube family. I have some very exciting content for you today. It's basically for artists and musicians who have family members, friends, significant others, people in their lives that have literally no idea what we do. It's a little bit of an education course. Uh, it's very friendly for youth and adults, so I would suggest if you have your family together, maybe some time in the afternoon, pick a time and watch this video together and make sure you have some instruments available because we're going to do a little tiny rhythm reading course in the middle of the video. It's very simple, but it, it, it'll be fun for you and I would like to know how y'all do. So I hope you enjoy this video and please let me know in the comments how you feel, what you thought of it, and I appreciate your subscription and you liking this video as we are growing the music industry together. Music is definitely for everyone, and I would like to present to you Music is Art, an interactive presentation and workshop you can do from the comfort of your own home. We are going to talk about music and essentially, of course, what it is and why it's so important to our world. Uh, music is many things, one of which music is science, as we know it to be. Music is mathematics. Also, music is a foreign language. Music is history. Music is indeed physical education. Music develops insight and demands research into your field. Music is all of these things, but most of all, as we know it, music is art. Why teach music, right? Well, <laughs> there's many reasons. Music is the science of one's heart, the mathematical with importance of time and tempo, Music is a global and universal language where you can communicate with people all around the world through music. Music has been in existence for at least 50,000 years at this point. <laughs> music is also a fundamental aspect of human life. Music really does help us to recognize beauty in all things. But mostly, music teaches love, compassion, gentleness, good and in general teaches us more about ourselves and about life. There's so much to learn in music. Some of the concepts that uh, you learn in, in educating yourself in music is tempo, dynamics, sound production, reading music, the different genres of music, the many instruments there are in music, collaborating and collaboration, Composition, as in writing your own music. Pitch, staying on pitch. <laughs> Intonation is a very important aspect of music. The art of performing and performance. Maybe someone walks around all the time waving their arms and they're meant to be a conductor or to learn how to conduct. <laughs> Uh, practicing and the importance of practice and productive practice. Improvisation, making up your own music by improvising, learning the theory behind music, and of course there is arranging music from a composer. You arrange the music to fit the particular ensemble you're playing in. Collaboration of the arts broken down basically is is one in which helps you gain confidence in learning something new and you basically, you know, find your passion by, by taking 
classes. And for a lot of us right now, we're, we're home with a lot of extra time. There's online opportunities, so maybe this will give you some ideas, but there's dance classes, there's ballet, ballroom, swing, hip hop, you name it. Uh, voice classes, you can sing in a choir, maybe not so much right now. Uh, barbershop, quartets, quintets, trios, there's duets, one for a piano and, and a vocalist to sing if you enjoy singing. Performing in musicals, the opportunity of performing plays, poetry, reading, improv, comedy, drawing, painting, it's really unlimited. And then of course private instruction, which on any instrument in dance, voice, or gymnastics, it's kind of unlimited. So many different instruments that you could learn if you go into music. Students essentially learn about the various different types of instruments and their specific sounds and their musical families, right? So there's woodwind instruments and those are the reeds and the vocals and the stuff I was talking about in my t tips and tricks video. Brass instruments, which is the instrument I play, the French horn, trumpet, trombone, various instruments such as that. And then there are string instruments. You have the whole family of string instruments. Violins, guitars, pianos, harpsichords, harps. And everyone's favorite, you have the booming and the banging percussion instruments. And that varies from what you hit as a, as a snare drum, to a timpani, to a small tiny bell, or a cowbell. And there's also marimbas that are percussion family instruments as well. And then you learn to play these instruments. And typically for children, when you start out, you learn an instrument such as a recorder. There also are instruments as you see photographed, little mini trumpets, clarinets, a drum, a flute, uh, there's a tambourine. Sometimes instrumentalists, uh, they, they start to learn a string instrument. Usually fourth grade is about the time they start teaching musicians, but I believe a child can learn at any age. Now when you go into musical genres, that's where our international language really comes to play. It's amazing because you can learn about all the different genres there are in music. For example, I have some listed here. We have international and world music. Who doesn't love some good folk music? Maybe you're a country western fan and you love the, the twanky twank country music. A lot of musicians on uh, this channel are, are classical, chamber, and opera professionally trained musicians, so that's a very important part of musical genres, of course, because that's where it all happens in my world. Uh, marching and military, if, uh, if you know more about me, I was in the marching band, that was a lot of fun and movie soundtrack music. Uh, it's, it's a big dream for most musicians to get into film recording. It's a quite rewarding position to fill uh, in this industry nowadays. We have gospel music, which everyone could use some good gospel music in their life. Uh, we have Renaissance as well, new age music that everyone loves and knows. Of course, another big world of mine is the jazz, blues, funk, and soul aspect of music. You really, really can't get, uh, get enough with that. <laughs> and you also have your pop rock alternative. And that music is pretty incredible in that it's uh, one that really brings you to a place of contentment in expansion once you are classically trained. Jazz playing, it goes actually both ways. You could learn as a jazz player and then become a classical player, or you could become a classical player and then learn jazz. Oftentimes those two things connected are quite difficult until you become a professional. Um, you also have your, your electronic music, pop rock and alternative. Latin music is a lot of favorites nowadays for people. I love listening to some Latin music, although I don't always understand what they're saying, but there's always a groove. Children's music, which you have a bunch of Disney movie music there, and Native American music, which is pretty incredible. Also, we have reggae. I have with me here some DIY percussion instruments, DIY for the most part. Of course, these beautiful Remo 
pan drums sound really great if they were on a table, but they're on a music stand right now. Uh, I can try to... They sound really great. And I have these really cute little glass jars my sister gave me that were filled with honey from Trader Joe's for Christmas. And I like honey, so um, there also I, I put some popcorn kernels inside of the jars and you can really make nice little shakers out of them. You can go. It's really kind of a cute little handy toy, especially if your kids like to bang on things all the time. This is what you want to get them so they can start learning rhythm and time. It's, it's really great. And this really cute little French horn bell. No, it doesn't play, but if you hold it a certain way, it rings really beautifully. And that's a really nice addition. I also have these dry erasers <laughs> that you may have lying around. And you can actually, I as a French horn player and an instrumentalist, we typically have extra things lying around, <laughs> like extra bells that typically go on our French horn. This is from a detachable French, uh, it, the bell actually comes off of the horn, but I kind of made a little bit of a percussion instrument out of it by just using the eraser, the soft part against the bell. And the other side is a little bit in interesting and it has a different sound as well. So lots of different options for percussion instruments. Now I suggest that since you have your instruments in front of you, you're ready to try your rhythm reading exercise. We have both quarter notes and rests on the sheet of paper in front of you. Now the quarter note is the black note that you see and the rest are the little squiggly lines. Um, as you as you see the nine little squares or boxes or rectangles on the sheet, we basically have nine measures of music. Each measure of music receives four beats inside of that measure. And this is for something that is in specifically four, four, where you have four beats per measure. There's different times, which we will not get into right now. But as this four, four goes, we're going to basically hit our drum, say boom, uh, do a jumping jack, something on the rhythm, okay? So we, four times, I'm gonna put the metronome on 90 beats per minute. And then the rest, we stay completely silent. So let's see how good your rhythm is. I will count off for you. <laughs> one, two, one, two, ready, go. How did you do? The importance of music education, let's go into that for a minute. <laughs> Basically, as we may or may not know, the arts and music are recognized to be both an important and integral part of a child's education, but I really feel it's an important part of anyone's education if you're willing to take the time to learn. 